All right, so today's tutorial is gonna be really quick and easy. So all you have to do is hit Shift A here and just drop in whatever model you want. I have this Icosphere dropped in, so I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, subdivide them and smooth them out, and we're gonna just use this for shading. So I'm gonna hop on over to the Node Editor here and start making this. So what we're gonna do up here is click and make a new material. So I have this already, just delete these guys. And first step is to make it metallic. So now that he's metallic, let's go ahead and add in a color ramp. Put that there, and we're gonna plug the color ramp into the base color. So pick the two colors that you want to sort of have that fall off on. So I'm gonna pick a almost a yellow and then a fiery red right over here. So that's my gradient. And then so to make it work, we're gonna add a layer weight node. So right here, and we're gonna use facing. A lot of people use for now, but I like facing a lot better. So if you wanna see what's actually going on here a little bit better, say I'll just put a little crazy color here so you can see the inside is this color, the outside is the purple color. But we're gonna stick with this because I like the way it looks. So one of the things about car paint is isn't just flat like this. A lot of times, with, especially with sports cars, they have like a, a, um, a subtle sparkle. So we're gonna add that. So let's go ahead and add in another color ramp and we're gonna make those sparkles. So plug this into the roughness. Now let's get a Voronoi node right here and plug the color into the color ramp. And now we have this, so we're gonna bring up the scale and put it at a thousand. And so now we have sparkles, super easy. And if you don't want them as intense, as you can see, they're working with the roughness. If you were to bring this over, you'd get even uh, less sparkles. Or if you bring it over here, it's even more rough. So if you wanna make it a little more subtle, say um, we'll take this guy and bring him up a little bit more white. So if you were making it just one solid white, it would be just solid rough and it looks bad. So we're gonna bring it farther down. So say some uh, sparkles like that. And then the last thing we wanna do, which is very, very important with it, when it comes to car paint is having a clear coat which uh, principled has that right here, clear coat, bring it all the way to the end. And now we have this, now we have a really nice car paint material. Now the cool thing is here on the blend, you can play with how the red affects it right here. And then you can go ahead and play with these to make a little more solid, more yellow, things like that. So you can go and customize it specifically to how you want. And now you have a really nice car paint material you can add to your cars, things like that. And the last little tip here, is if you don't like these two colors, you can get a hue saturation node, pop it right in front of this uh, color ramp here, and then you can take the hue and play with it, and you can iterate really quickly, and then you can bring in some of these colors to get it more, more obvious what's happening. So you can play with those two colors together and get different ideas. So there you go. That's a uh, nice car paint material for you. Hope you learned something. Hope you liked it, and thanks for watching.